Hey, what is going on, guys? I know a lot of you are struggling with getting controller to work on EZFN or any OG product for that matter. So in today's video, we're going to go through some common troubleshooting steps that you can try to get it to work. Now, do know this is going to be a PC-specific tutorial, and make sure to try some really simple steps like unplug, replug, or disconnect, reconnect if you're on wireless, switching your cable, switching your wired or wireless connections if possible. But if that's not working, we'll go through some more steps today. We'll check two settings, ignore gamepad input and lock input as mouse. We'll check that your controller is even being read at all by your PC. We'll then check if your controller is unsupported and what you can do to get it still to work. And then finally, we'll reset our controls, which is more easy FN specific problem as a uh, setting sync is not really working. So it could possibly fix it if you're having an issue with setting sync. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so let's start out with our first two possible fixes, which is two settings in the accessibility tab. Ignore gamepad or ignore gamepad input is our first one. This one's really important. It seems so simple, but if you enable this, no matter what you do on your controller, it's not gonna do anything. So make sure this is disabled. That might be your issue and that might solve everything for you, but maybe that's not your problem. Also make sure that lock input as mouse is disabled as well. Well, this won't outright disable your controller in most cases, it still could cause issues. So make sure you have both of these disabled. But let's say that did not work. The next thing we're gonna do is check if your controller inputs are even being read by your PC. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna head to any web browser of your choice and then type in uh, gamepad tester into your web browser and you're gonna see hardwaretester.com. You can click on this. And basically what you're gonna do is press any button on your controller and you should see it pop up on the screen. Now in my case, because of the way it's configured, it's not gonna do that, um, but you should see it pop up and show you what buttons you're pressing. That means your inputs are actually being read by your PC. If you're stuck on this, no matter what you press and it's still looking like connect your gamepad and press buttons, that means it's not connected properly. So you're gonna have to look into troubleshooting the actual connection itself. But assuming this is working, we can now know that that's not the problem and move into our next troubleshooting steps. So our next possible fix is that you're using an unsupported controller. Keep in mind that on EZFN and a lot of chapter one OG products, you can use an Xbox One controller or Xbox Series controller, as well as a PS4 controller. But DualShock 5 um, or DualSense 5, I mean, uh, Nintendo Switch controllers, those won't work. So you'll need to use a program called DS4 Windows to convert that input. I have a guide on how to do that. I'll link it in the pinned comment below. So if that's your problem, make sure to set up DS4 Windows and that should hopefully fix your issue. The final issue uh, that I want to point out and a possible fix for it is that setting sync may have broken on EZFN and weird things can happen. Like as you can see, my controls are pretty messed up. This is unbound somehow. If I try and rebind this to switch mode, you know, that works. But weird things can start happening here. Um, where if you try and bind it correctly, some of the buttons are missing, everything's messed up. The best way to do this is click on reset, go back to Builder Pro and reset your buttons again. I know that's annoying, but the fact of the matter is setting sync is not working properly for everybody. And if that's your issue, the best way to do it is just reset your controls and try again. So hopefully this video helps you. If you still have more problems, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one.